Hello, Carlos. Hello, Jennifer. Good evening. How are you today? Hello, good evening. That's good. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm pretty good. Thank you for asking me. Excellent, teacher. Okay, it's good to know that you are okay tonight. So, thank you so much for your punctuality. And here is Osmin Rivera. Yes. Okay. And... I'm ready for a starting class, teacher. Oh, that sounds good. We are going to learn a lot tonight. So get ready. Yes. Hello, Cosmin. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I am fine. I a little, a little tired. Oh, you're a little tired. It was a busy day today. Okay, I understand, right? Today is, is still a Thursday. Today is Thursday. And tomorrow we are going to have classes. Don't forget that, please. We are going to have classes tomorrow, right? So tomorrow, oh, Friday, we are going to have classes at the same time, right? Necesitamos oh, recuperar. Teacher? teacher? Yes. Necesitamos recuperar la clase del día lunes, ¿verdad? Que se perdió oh, por la emergencia. Okay. Perfecto, problem, teacher. Okay. Oh, it's, so just for, it's just for that uh, week or uh, all weeks? Oh, we are going to have another uh, different week and it is going to be the last class, right? We are going to have our last class on Friday. It's because we are going to have a day off or a holiday. We're going to have a holiday on November 2nd. That is a holiday. Then we are going to uh, meet that class that day. Uh, but we're going to have the class, um, I guess it's Friday the 4th. Let me check it. Let's see. Yes, we are going to finish this English course um, November 4th. El 4 de noviembre terminamos y es viernes. Eso debido al asueto del 2 de noviembre. Eh, es una festividad, ¿verdad? ¿Qué celebramos ese día? What do we celebrate November the 2nd? It's the day of the person dead. November the 2nd. It's okay. the day of the person dead. It's All Souls Day. All Souls Day. That is the name of All the Souls holiday. Day. Yes. Okay. That's why. Right. So the next week we are going to have classes from Monday through Thursday. La siguiente semana, sí, verdad? De lunes a jueves. Pero mañana sí tenemos class. Okay, we have class. So let's start with tonight class. Then welcome, Hosman. Nice to see you tonight. And here is Evelyn too, Sandra, Samuel, Ada, Edwin. Good night, teacher. Okay, welcome to the class. Good evening. Good night, Good night teacher. Hello, Good Good evening. Evening. Good evening. Welcome. Good night, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day today, guys? How was your day? Was it great? Was it busy? Was it amazing? Was it interesting? Today for me is a mess, teacher. Okay, that's great. It was an amazing day for Carlos Vladimir. And what about the rest of the class? How was your day? ¿Qué tal estuvo su día? My day was busy all day. Okay, Edwin. You were very busy. Very good. Any other answer? How was your day? No more answer. Then let's start with this, right? Uh, just a second. Yesterday, we finished the class with the reading, right? With the reading part of the section number one. So do you have any question about that part? Do you have any question about the reading? 
any question, any doubt, comment. ¿Cómo les fue en el puntaje? ¿Qué tal anda su salud? Is it good? Uh, average or it's okay? It's not good. Not it so isn't good. good. Not so good. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Excuse me, Josman, can you please repeat? I couldn't listen to you. Okay, Ada Marilu, I understand. Don't work. Okay, so let's start with tonight class, right? If you don't have any questions about the reading, let's go with tonight class. And tonight we're going to study the, we are going to start it. So read the section number two. We had a great time. We had a great time. ¿En qué tiempo está esta oración? We have a great time. Present. Is it present? Simple past, simple future. Present perfect. We it's had a so great time. Past. Yes, that you're is right. Past. Yes, that is simple past. We had a great time. Another question for you, the verb had, is it a regular or a regular verb? It's a regular verb. Regular. 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 Yes, thank you so much. It's an irregular verb. So let's start with this topic. Welcome to the class number three for the group pre-intermediate two. We had a great time. That is the topic for tonight. So let's start with this. This is the lesson objective for tonight. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions about activities you did the last weekend. So simple path, right? Activities you did the last weekend. Do you remember about your last weekend? What did you do? What did you do last weekend? ¿Qué hicieron el fin de semana pasado? And then you say, I stay home. I played soccer. I watched a movie. I listened to music. I played video games. I went out, I went to my house, <laughs> I cleaned my house, limpié mi casa, right? I work, uh, I work, me tocó trabajar, I work. So last weekend activities, we're going to use a simple path, but let's start with question. The, or let's start with this picture here. And what is this activity? Look at the picture and tell me. Watch movie. Uh, movie. They watch TV. Okay. Watch, watch TV. They watch TV. Okay. Perfect answer. Thank you. And what about this other one? Perfect answer. Thank you. And what about this other one? Play basketball. Play basketball. He is play bas basketball. He is or he played? What's the rhyme? He played basketball. Thank you. He played he play. basketball. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see the next picture. Go to shopping. Go shopping. Yes, that is the name of the activity. Go to shopping. In past, go shopping. Yes, that is the name of the theory. She went shopping. 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 Thank you. Let's see the next picture. She listened to music. Yes, you're right. She listened to music. music. She and to music. The, you're right. She listened to music. And the, let's see the next one. This is the last one. She cooked. She's cooking. She cooked. Thank you. She cooked. Ella cocinó. Then let's see the next set of picture here. What happened with them? What did they do? 
last weekend? They, they worked. worked. They worked. They worked. What about they these ate. people? They ate. What about they these ate. people? They, they ate. They ate. They oh. ate. They ate out is the expression. Eat out is salir a comer. They ate out is the expression. They ate out. Sería la oración. They ate out. Then, let's see this one. Él estuvo en casa. How do you say that in English? They stay home. They stay home. Excellent. They stay home. Ellos se levantaron tarde. They woke, woke up early. They woke up early. And let's see this other picture here. And let's see this other he read a book. He read. He read a book. Thank you. He read a book, or he wrote. He wrote a report, for example. He did his homework. Hizo su tarea. Could be another option for that picture. And this is the last one. What is this activity? Just wash the dish. Wash the dishes or do the dishes. So she did the dishes, right? For la sombra, because of the shadow, we can guess that it's a woman who is uh, washing the dishes in that picture. So she washed the dishes or she did the dishes. Thank you so much. Okay, which one of these activities did you do last weekend? ¿Con cuáles de estas actividades se sienten identificados? ¿Cuáles hicieron ustedes el fin de semana pasado? Number five. Eh, number three. Oh, number three. Do the dishes. Yes. Any other? Um, and the finish. In my life. I'm sorry. Uh, and the finish. In my life. Okay. In my house. Okay, I stayed in my house. In my house. Okay, I stayed in my house. In my last week, I was wake up late, and I spent time with my family. And we cook. Uh, we cook the lunch together excellent very good so we cook lunch together okay that was perfect i spent time with my family very good so let's see let's continue so did you do anything special talking about the last weekend did you do anything special that is the title for this conversation. Is this is algo especial. Did you do anything special? That is a yes, no question. You have two options to answer this question. Did you do anything special last weekend? ¿Cuál podrían ser las posibles respuestas para esa pregunta? Did you do anything special? When you say, yes, I did. And the other option is, no, I didn't. Or you can answer with a long answer. Like this example, to take a look at the conversation. And so, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and started for today's Spanish test. 
our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. So, what did Meg do last weekend? What did Meg do last weekend? She went to the karaoke bar. Yes, that is one activity. She went to a karaoke bar. Any other activity that she did? I saw friend in Saturday. Let's see. <clears throat> okay. She saw some friend or she met with some friend on Saturday. Okay, you're right. Any other answer? Oh, sorry. Any other activity that she did? I forgot or I, I forget. I forgot all about that. I forget. I forgot. She forgot. Sería la oración. She forgot about the Spanish test. She forgot about the Spanish test. And another activity. She sang. She sang. Ella cantó. And what about Rick? What did Rick do last weekend? What did Rick do last weekend? He, he just stay, stayed in his home and studied. Excellent answer. Very good job. Super answer. Thank you. So he stayed, he stayed home and studied for the Spanish test. Okay. So let's listen to this conversation. Pay attention to the pronunciation and then we are going to practice. But before to listen, I want to know if you have any question about vocabulary in this conversation. Any new work in this small conversation? Tell me, do you have any questions? Okay, no new vocabulary, then let's listen the conversation. Here we go. Did you do anything special? Let me know, please, if you can listen the conversation. Yes. Thank you, Jennifer. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay, now I need two volunteers. Who wants to practice? I need two volunteers to practice in this small conversation. Who wants? Who wants to practice tonight? Any volunteer? If no volunteers, I'm going to choose somebody. Me, Who teacher. Wants to help me? me, teacher. Oh, can you say me in your name, please? So you say Carlos, right? Where are you, yes. Carlos? And? Evelyn. Oh, thank you so much, Evelyn. So let's start. Uh, Carlos, start the conversation, please. Okay. So what did you, sorry. So what did you do last weekend? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That's all like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We, we went to that new place, Dong Chong. Mm. How about 
about you. Did you go and a new world? No, I didn't go anywhere. I uh, we can I just stay at home. And uh, studying for today's Spanish lab test. Or oh, Spanish day is today. I forget all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Evelyn. Very good job. Thank you. Just a stone word in some phrases. So let's practice then. Let's see, for example, this one. That sounds like fun. That sounds like fun. Okay, suena divertido. That sounds like fun. And also this word, downtown. Downtown, which means the center of the city. Right? Downtown. Then anywhere. 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 And also I forgot. I, I forgot all about that. I forgot all about that. Thank you so much. Very good job. Thank you, Evelyn and Carlos. So let's see. Can you help me please to identify the verb in simple past in this conversation? Which are some of them? Verbs in simple past in these conversations. Which are they? When? Okay, when is when? Yes, it has to go when. When? Which other when? When? ¿Cuál otro verbo en pasado simple? Have some. Some. Have. Thank you. We have had. Any other? Sun. Sun, thank you, Sun. What is Sun? Okay, Sun. Which other one? State. 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 Yes, State. This is here. <laughs> State. Forgot. 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 Yes, Forgot. And that study studies studied study study thank you which other one is it another one here get <laughs> okay excellent so we have one two three four five six birds can you please tell me which one are regular and which one are irregular Give me an example of irregular bears. When? When is when irregular bear? Yes. Which hat. other one? Sun. Hat. hat and sun. Perfect. Any other irregular bear? Forgot. Forgot is the other one. Then a state and a started are regular bear. Uh, what is the difference? Do you remember what is the difference? between regular and irregular verb? Do you remember that part? I don't know if I explain good, but uh, the irregular verb is a verb that change when you arrive, and the regular is just when you add some words, for example, um, the or for example in, in studies you add, add a and b perfect explanation thank you so much jennifer you are completely you are completely right in this part regular birds are the ones that the simple past form change and you don't have other option that learn them by at least one by one in and regular birds, they follow some rule to make the simple path, right? We add D to some of them, we add I, E, D, and for most of the verb, we use E, D. 
to form the simple past tense of this verb. So we are going to continue studying this. Thank you so much. Let's continue with the class here. That is the difference, right? Los verbos irregulares tienen su propia forma en el pasado. No hay otra manera más que aprenderlos de una lista, uno por uno. En cambio, los verbos regulares se les agrega ed, ¿verdad? A la mayoría de ellos hay algunas excepciones. Algunos verbos que solo llevan de, otros verbos que solo llevan a, perdón, que tenemos que quitar y y agregar i y di. Vamos a ver más adelante esa parte. So, let's continue with tonight class. Did you do it? Okay, so today we're going to focus in question, right? So to make just no question in simple past, we need to use this auxiliary, the auxiliary did. So did you work on Saturday? Then you have to answer, yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. So did, we use did to make question and also to make negative statement in simple past. In question, the auxiliary did is at the beginning of the question. Let's say a little of this example. Did you work on Saturday? Let's see, um, Alexis. Did you work on Saturday? No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Thank you so much. So let's see. Hey, Ulisse, did you go anywhere last weekend? Hi. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Fue a algún lugar el fin de semana pasado? Yes, I went. I went to. Um, I went to Suchitoto. Excellent. So you say, yes, I did. I went to Suchitoto. Nice. Thank you for your answer. So you answer, yes, I did. No, I didn't is the short answer. Then we have a complete answer here. Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. So, Jennifer, did you work on Saturday? No, I didn't. I did. I didn't work a lot. Okay, excellent. I didn't work at all. At all. I didn't work at all. So, let's see. Here's another night. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. It. I went my bits, my visit family. Excellent answer. Thank you. Thank you. So, yes, I did. I visited my family. Excellent. Let's go with the next type of question. What did Rick do on Saturday? This is an information question. ¿Qué hizo, ¿Qué hizo Rick el día sábado? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? It's another information question. ¿Cómo gastó Meg o cómo pasó Meg su fin de semana? He went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. So we can use these two questions, right? To ask for week, last weekend activities. What did you do? And how did you spend your weekend? And then you have to get information about the activities that you did during the weekend. Do you have any question in this part? Questions? Is it clear, guys? No questions. Okay, yes. that's great. Okay, maybe next. Kerson, tell me what is your question? Uh, ah, solo tengo una duda, teacher. 
¿Verdad que en el simple plus siempre tiene que el, tiene que ir el tit porque es según la regla es digamos el, es como la parada del inicio para formar una pregunta. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Gracias, okay. teacher. Wait. Okay. Um, te escuchaba ahí un poco de bulla. Yes, you're right. We need to use it to make questions in simple past. And si es una yes no question, va al principio de la pregunta. Si es una pregunta de información, va después de la WS word. Y ya le comentas, what did, how did. Esa es la posición del auxiliar. Y si es una oración negativa, también lo utilizamos. Did, must, not. I didn't, he didn't, we didn't, you didn't. This is in simple past tense. Thank you for your question. Let's listen this example. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Okay. Now let's go. Time to practice. Simple pass, yes, no question. This is the structure, Gerson. So let's take a look. Esta es la estructura que necesitamos seguir para hacer una pregunta en pasado simple. So we are going to need the auxiliary deed, the subject, the verb, in present, the complement, and the question mark. So let's see the next example. Did you clean your house last weekend? Did he stay at home last weekend? Did she go to the movies last weekend? Did it play with the ball last weekend? Did we study English last weekend? Did they watch a movie last weekend? So any volunteer to practice reading these examples? Who wants to help me? Who wants to practice? Any volunteer tonight? No volunteer. Me, teacher. I'm Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer, thank you. So, you want that I need to read that? Yes, tell me to read the question, please. Okay. Did you clean your house last week? weekend? Did, did he stay at home last weekend? Did she go to the movies last weekend? Did he play with the ball last weekend? Did he study English last weekend? And did they watch a movie last weekend? Excellent job. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your help reading these sentences. Now let's see which are the answers. Let's discover the answer here. Okay, number one, did you clean your house last weekend? What is the answer? Can you look for the answer here? ¿Cuáles son las dos posibles respuestas para esta pregunta? Did you clean your house last weekend? Yes, I did. Uh, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Or, no, I didn't. Excellent. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did he stay home last weekend? What yes, he yes, no, did. Yes, no, he didn't. Excellent. Yes, he did. didn't. Letter E. Thank you. Number three. Did she go to the movies last weekend? Yes, yes she did. did. No, she didn't. Okay, that is A. Letter A. Thank you. Then the next one. Did it play with the ball last weekend? It's letter D. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Perfect. So it is talking about a cat or a dog, right? Did it play with the ball last weekend? And number five, did we study English last weekend? 
Yes, he did. No, he did. didn't. It's letter C. Letter? Letter C. Yes, you're right. Thank you. And the last one. Did they watch a movie last weekend? Did they watch a movie last weekend? It's a letter B. Yes, yes they, they did. did. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Okay, perfect. Is it easy or difficult? Get no question. Are easy or difficult? In simple past tense. What do you think? Easy or difficult then? Let's go with the next slide. W work. So let's pay a look at this question. What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Can you tell me at least two activities that you did last weekend? Think, think, remember. Try to remember what did you do last weekend and tell me. Share with the class. What did you do last weekend? I woke up. I woke up late. Okay, yes. And, I... and I I took with my uh, with my family and then we we watched a movie. Thank you, Jennifer. So you say I woke up late, I cooked with my family and we watch a movie. Thank you so much. Uh, any other volunteer? What did you do last weekend? Tell me two activities me that you did. Me, Ingrid. Tell me, Ingrid. Uh, I went to the dentist on Saturday and I watched a series on Sunday. Okay, excellent. Thank you. What is the name of the series? Or sitcom? Manifiesto. Oh, that is a good one. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, very good. So, next question. Oh, what did he do last weekend? Okay. What did he do? Then we start the answer is he. He, he studied. He stayed home. En el caso de la conversación, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan las actividades de Rick? So he studied, he stayed home. And what did she do last weekend? Uh, here is a mistake in the theory, ella. Let's see, for example, what did Jennifer do? What did Jennifer do last weekend? What did Jennifer did last weekend? Y dijo tres actividades que hizo el fin de semana pasado, Jennifer. She watched it. She... Mm, that was Ingrid. Y quien vio Or una... Ingrid. Cook, Fue Ingrid. Cook with, with her family. Thank you, cook, Francisco. Cook it, cook it. She cooked with her family and she watched a movie. She watched a movie, yeah. Y la primera que dijo, I woke up late. Se le despertó tarde el fin de semana. Thank you. Let's see the next. Then what did it do last weekend? It is talking about an animal. Right? ¿Qué hizo el fin de semana la mascota? Then what did we do last weekend? ¿Qué hicimos nosotros? Oh, we say we studied English, for example. And what did they do last weekend? Say they did exercise or they exercised. They played the soccer. They played basketball. They stayed at home. So that is work equation with simple past. Last weekend activities. Then and I want to know if you did these activities. I'm going to choose some of you guys and you have to answer me. So Hosman. Did you watch a movie last weekend? Yes, I did. I yes, I did. Okay, thank you. What was the name of the movie? 
Don't you remember? I remember. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's see the next one. Okay. Alma Castro, did you play basketball last weekend? No, no, I didn't. I don't like basketball. Oh, okay. And let's see. Fatima Noemi, did you go shopping last weekend? Okay, he's saying, yes, I did. I went shopping. I went shopping. Okay, perfect. Yes, I did. I went shopping. Thank you. And then let's see the next. Okay, let's see. Cristina del Carmen, did you listen to music last weekend? Yes, I did. I listen to music. Okay, was it cumbia? Was it bachata? Salsa music. Salsa music. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then let's go over the next activities. Alexi, did you work? Did you work uh, last weekend? No, I didn't. I stayed at home all day. Perfect answer. Thank you. Ingrid, let's see next. Did you stay at home last weekend? Mm, yes, I stayed at home in the yes. afternoon. Okay, yes, I did. I stayed home on Saturday afternoon. Thank you. Uh, Jamilet. Did you read a book last weekend? Yes, I did. Thank you. And the last one, Hosman, did you do the dishes last weekend? Yes, I did. Okay, great. Yes, I did. Thank you so much. Then let's read this example with regular verbs. So I played basketball, I watched TV, I listened to music, I cooked, I stayed home, I worked. Then irregular verb, I went shopping, I wrote a report, I did the dishes, and I spent time with my family. So with the regular verb and with irregular pairs. Any question about this? Ok, si quiero hacer estas oraciones eh, de forma negativa, ¿cómo sería la primera? Any volunteer? I do play basketball. Excellent, thank you. The second one? I didn't watch TV. Perfect. Third one? I didn't listen to music. Excellent. I didn't cook it. I didn't cook or I didn't cook. I didn't cook. I didn't cook. Perfect. En presente, ¿verdad? Porque el pasado lo absorbe el auxiliar. I didn't cook. The next. I, I didn't home. stay home. I didn't stay home. I didn't stay home. Perfect. The next one. I didn't work. I didn't work. Perfect. Then with the regular bird, it's the same, right? We use didn't. I didn't go shopping. Perfect. I didn't go shopping. This other one. I didn't write a report. I didn't write a report, thank you. In this one. I didn't do the dishes. Excellent, thank you, Francisco. And the last one. Uh, I didn't spend time with my friends. 
Thank you so much for your answer. So didn't, we need didn't to make negative statement. Okay, what about this other activity? Uh, any volunteer? I need a volunteer, please. Who wants to participate? Any volunteer? Yes, go ahead to practice. If no volunteer, I'm going to choose Osmin. Can you help me? Osmin, can you help me? Okay, then Carlos Vladimir, can you help me please with this? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, perfect. So tell me, um, with affirmative and negative sentences. So this is clean, this is play soccer, go to the park, iron, and eat out. So, ¿cuáles de estas actividades sí hizo y cuáles no, Carlos? Tell me, please. Uh, siempre utilizando did and did it. En pasado siempre, va. Si limpió, sería I cleaned my house, por ejemplo. Si jugó fútbol, I played soccer. Si no okay. jugó fútbol, sería I didn't play soccer. Ok. I play soccer. Mm -hmm. uh, I I cleaning my house. Yeah. I didn't uh, visit the park. Uh, está planchando, pero how do you say planchar in English? Iron. Iron is the verb. Okay. I didn't iron is the verb. I didn't iron. I didn't iron. I didn't iron. It out. Uh, I hit. Yes. Uh, in the restaurant with my girlfriend. Okay, excellent. So I eat out with my girlfriend. Thank you so much for your answer. Any other volunteer to practice? Tell me if you did or if you didn't these activities. If you didn't do these activities. No volunteers. I did clean house. I did cook. I did didn't food. Okay, thank you. Any other? Sure. Thank you. Let me start with clean. Okay, I clean the toilet. And Perfect. Also, I went to play football with my girlfriend my mm -hmm. with my friend and moreover i went to the park with my girlfriend and then i cooked uh, the dinner and i didn't um, iron Okay, excellent answer. Oh, I don't know. Iron, iron is the pair. I did an iron. That was perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, now let's see. Speaking activities, please. What did you do last weekend? You are going to share this with your classmates. So prepare at least five activities that you did last weekend. And you are going to share with your classmates in the breakup room. So five, five activities. Let me know when you are ready, please. Remember, five activities that you did last weekend and you are going to share them with your classmates in, this, in the breakout room. So you are going to practice them. Let me know, please, if you're ready. Yes. At, at least five activities. You say, I studied, uh, I worked, I played soccer, I watched TV. So things I that shopping. you did. I went shopping, yes. Are you ready, guys? Yes. So let's open yes. the breakout room. Okay, here we go. Van a recibir el mensajito para unirse a los breakout rooms. Um, uno de ustedes tiene que hacer la pregunta, ¿verdad? Like, what did, let's say, for example, uh, this set, 
Let me see. Yes, Mabel Lisette. What did you do last weekend? And then Mabel Lisette start uh, speaking, right? Start sharing her answer. Here we go. You will have five minutes, guys. Five minutes to complete this exercise. So let's see. Okay. Here we go. Samuel Isaac recibió la invitación para unirse a la sala. Hola, disculpe, disculpe. Sí, se, se, se escucha como interferencia. Eh, se, con esta pregunta, con esta pregunta vamos a responder en tiempo presente o, o tiempo pasado. Fíjese que yo... En pasado. En pasado. Ah, vaya. Sí, porque está haciendo en pasado la pregunta. Ah, vaya. Está bien, gracias. Va, entonces, a ah, usted no le hemos preguntado. What did you do last weekend? What? Ulises. What, okay. what, what did you do last weekend? I, I did uh, many things. For example, I went to the supermarket with my mother, and then um, I went to the church. And later, I went. We went to the Plaza Mundo, and then uh, and I we eat we ate. Uh, pizza and also uh, uh, we drop we dream uh, soda and then I return to my house with my mother okay excellent okay, thank you thank you oh, yeah just a second uh, drink in past is it's dream Yes, you're right. Yes. I drank soda. Yes. Or we drank soda instead. Yeah. Perfect answer. Now, Hosman, uh, Ulises, puede hacer en la pregunta, Hosman, please. Okay. Right now, 
Uh, what did you do last weekend? Okay, I I worked in the weekend. And Sunday I was in the TV. Um, going going eat uh, pupusas on Sunday. I listened to music and and shop it and the supermarket. Okay, perfect. So you say I watch TV. I ate what? What did you eat? I ate pupusas. You say right? I ate pupusas. I listened to music and I went shopping. Yes. Excellent sentences. Now, Hotman, can you ask to Jamilet, please? Hotman, puede ser la pregunta Jamilet, please. Okay, Jamilet, what did you do last weekend? Well, I read it. I wrote. I went shopping to supermarket. I cleaned my house. I cooked. And I went to the church. Perfect answer. Thank you so much, guys. You did a great job during this practice. That was perfect. Thank you so much. See you in a minute with the rest of your classmates. Thank you. Hello, Josma. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Fatima, Samuel, Francisco. Welcome again to the class. How was your practice? Did you finish? It's very good. Only speaking English. Okay, that's great. Okay, remember, the more you practice, the better you are going to be in this uh, language. So it's pretty really good that you practice all the things in English in your group. Hello, welcome. Welcome. How was your practice, Jennifer? Did you finish practicing with really your classmates? Good. Yes, Alma, how was your practice? Mm, very good. Okay, my question. <laughs> ah, okay, that's great. We are learning. Don't worry. And Eulite, how was your practice? Hi, coach. Excuse me. Could How you repeat that? Did you practice? Did you enjoy the activity? Did you practice with your classmates? I uh, practicing with Josman. And? And Gloria. Jamilet. Okay, Jamilet. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, no problem. Okay, okay, thank you so much, guys, for your help. Um, ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? Uh, come I advanced, teacher. Okay, it's an So don't forget, please, that during this week we need to complete section one in section number two, right? Antes de mañana, de la clase de mañana, tienen que estar terminadas esas dos secciones, ¿verdad? Que no se nos acumule el trabajo, ¿verdad? Para que no nos vayamos a desvelar un día antes. Vamos a andar con ojeras para la graduación, la graduación virtual. Teacher. <laughs> Yes. Teacher, one question. Tell me, what is your question? Eh, va, eh, vamos a tener clases mañana. Yes, we are going to have classes tomorrow. Yes. Mañana es viernes. Teacher, no solo de lunes a jueves, teacher. Ah, oh, el problema es que el lunes Perdí. no tuvimos lunes. clases. Ah, Perdimos ok. Lo vamos a reponer. Lo vamos a reponer el día de mañana. Por eso tenemos clases. Then, see you tomorrow sure. at 8 o'clock p.m. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, 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 b
Okay, Yasmin. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Well. See you tomorrow. Thank you.